Good morning. Um, so today I am doing um, basically a test. Uh, so I'm going to do my four by four uh, VO2 intervals, which I typically do every Tuesday. Um, but I've just come off a two week block where I did uh, for both weeks, I did four VO2 sessions. So for first week of the block, for the second week of the block. Um, and today I'm going to test and see if I've improved. Um, what I've done this winter, which is unique for me, is I've done VO2 sessions the whole winter. So I started probably late October and all the way through November, December, and January was pretty consistent. Once a week, just once a week, doing a four by four. Uh, the four by fours are hard starts, uh, sort of inspired by uh, Coley Moore, who, uh, <laughs> who, if you listen to his podcast, does four hours of what all the sort of physiological components that go into VO2. It's quite fascinating if you can get through it. Um, but basically, Coley prescribes two things. One is the hard start, which is fairly common on VO2 sessions these days. And uh, the whole idea is being hard start. So what I mean by hard start is first 20, 30 seconds, you overpace. So say you were going to do the interval of 400 watts, you'd start, you know, high 400s, even 500 watts. Um, and the idea being uh, that overpacing gets your heart uh, and your respiration up to maximum as quickly as possible. Because the whole point of VO2 sessions is you want to maximize time of VO2. So Coley prescribes heart starts. And like I said, that's quite common these days. The other thing he prescribes, um, which I did for about three years is um, high cadence. So he recommends you do these at 110 RPM. Um, and so two things that happen when you do that, at least for me, maybe it doesn't happen to everybody for me. I lose quite a bit of power doing that. Um, probably at least 20, maybe even 30 watts. Um, but the perceived exertion is through the roof. You are breathing like a lunatic and your heart does get pretty high. And there's a bunch of reasons that he goes into again on this podcast of why he believes that's the most effective way to, um, I guess, it, I guess it comes down to just, you know, stressing the heart, like really forcing a lot of blood through your system. And then the other sort of, I think, side benefit of that is by higher cadence. I think he's, cause he'll prescribe big blocks of these things for his pros. He'll get those guys to do three weeks of VO2, um, with a high cadence. I believe he's trying to save the guy's muscles a little bit, just, just reduce fatigue and reduce muscle soreness. But anyway, so I did that for three years. I never saw improvements. I get to a certain level. And so this year I'm just, I just, I ignored, I still did the hard starts, but I ignored the high cadence. So instead of trying to hit 110, I just do my natural cadence, which for these intervals is, yeah, maybe about 80 RPM. So anyway, um, what I was doing these intervals that I didn't start them last year until whew, quite late, say March. And I was maxing out about 390 watts, still doing hard starts and still doing high cadence. Um, in the summer, I continued to do them when I went back, back to Vancouver, but I sort of abandoned the high cadence. I'm just like, oh, I just want to hit max power. So then I was doing those intervals. I think I got to, yeah, I maxed out about 400 and seven watts, I want to say, by, yeah, July, August. So sort of a 20 watt improvement. When I started up again this winter, um, I got to my highest so far is 427 watts. So, and that's indoors. And I typically will do those in rules 10 watts higher outdoors. So at least a 20 watt improvement from my best in the summer. And if, you know, we go by, you know, let me add that extra 10 watts, um, you know, potentially 100, 437 watts. Um, so big, big improvement. 
just by doing these things once a week. Um, so then I did, so like I said, I did, so starting three weeks ago, I did two weeks of these intervals in a block, two week block. Last week I took a rest in a uh, week. And now this week, uh, today actually, I'm gonna see if I can, yeah, if I can hit a personal PB. So goal is at least 430, 435, which would be about 10 watts up from what I was maxing out three three weeks ago. If I can hit 440, I'd be super stoked. Um, I don't feel particularly great today, so I'm getting excuses early. Um, but voila. So that's where I'm at. That's what I'm trying to do. I want to see if I get a training effect from that two-week block. Okay? So... I will probably uh, get going pretty soon. I'm just going to get my fans up and running. And uh, I'll record it and we'll see what fucking happens. All right? Cool. So, I am absolutely stoked. <laughs> four, four, three. 
That's my highest since I've been an old man. <laughs> Not even that far from when I was yeah, semi-pro in 2000, 2000, yeah. I think I did a 460 or something. But, uh, so let's just put that in context. My highest this winter is 427. I just did, um, what is that, 16 watts more. 16 watts which you can put down to two weeks block of VO2. Eight only sessions. I mean, I would have liked to have done 10, but eight was, I was cracking. And one week of rest, and okay, yeah. Not science, but 16 watt improvement. Now to put it in better context, one year ago, the best I could do was 390 watts. So I've just done 53 watts more, right? 53 fucking watts more. I mean, I'm so fucking stoked. I'm super happy with that. So, well, also that's session one. I mean, I got three more. You know, I was gonna quite a bit of a drop off of the first one, but yeah, dude, I am fucking, I'm elated with that. That's those are good numbers. 440 was always my target for this season once I started doing these. And you know, yeah, let me just sell it, right? Like so most guys other than pros and elites, they just don't fucking do their intervals, right? They ride around with their friends, do some sprints, push it on a hill a bit, and that will get you in good shape. But I'm a well-trained cyclist. I've been riding since I quit racing 17 years ago, 20 years ago. I've been riding again since 20, 2018 is when I started seriously again. 2019, I had a good season. And since then, I've been searching for form. Haven't really improved. 2019, I improved a lot, but since then, no improvements. And just a winter of once a week, four by fours, you know, they're hard as fuck, but it's four minutes, right? Four minutes. Um, you can take a 10 minute break between them. It's not gonna kill you. you take a 20 minute break in between them if you want to. Um, you know, the traditional four on, four off, Ah, talking to some sports scientists and some elite athletes, they're telling me you can take as much as 20 minutes between these and just look at the training effect and the power will be higher. So right now I'm doing 10 minute breaks on mine. Um, you know, the second one is never nearly as good as the first, but you know, I'm old, so that's, you know, that's life. But you know, let me, let me say it again, cause I just can't get over the, the fact that if you guys do this training once a week and then maybe two, three times a year, just do a two week block of this stuff, try and get eight to 10 to 12 intervals in, you know, you don't have, and this is the other thing too, because I used to do four by fives or five by fives. And yeah, you're supposed to try and get 20 minutes. So at VO2, if you can, but those are just killing me mostly mentally that fifth one just like uh, you know you're on number three and you're like oh still got two more but now when you're on number three it's like oh one more i can do it so four by four once a week do a block of just four by fours keep the keep the volume pretty low my volume wasn't high um just ride around and then the rest of the time you know you know i do two 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 so i do two interval, two days, like say Tuesday, uh, Tuesday Wednesday, or uh, sorry, I usually do Tuesday, Thursday, break on Wednesday, and then Saturday, Sunday. Um, do that two weeks, take a week off and test. Yeah, you know, I mean, I came up, what did I say, 16 watts, and I'm well-trained, I'm fucking well-trained, right? 
It's not an off the couch guy. Oh yeah, my FTP gained 50 watts. Yeah, but your FTP was 150 watts. So who fucking what? You know, um, I've been doing these for, you know, three or four years, but not consistently, and not in blocks. Or when I was doing it in blocks, I was tired. I said that you got to be fresh when you do these things. But if you do them properly, you keep the focus, the consistency, and I'm up. Yeah, I'm up over 50 watts from this time last year. 50 watts, dude, like 50 watts. You know, 390 to 443. Ah, I, you know, it's amazing. So I'm super stoked, as I said. So, you know, sorry about that. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just so ecstatic that, you know, the training seems to be working. All right, so try and get these in your training. Yeah, ride around with your friends, but once a week, just fucking buckle down and do and do these fucking fuck off hard intervals. It's four times four, 16 minutes of pain, but look at the gains you get. It's really worth it. All right, so voila, hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, hit me up if you have any questions. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.